Hello everybody. Welcome to Vita Nova. We're here in Sardinia with Laura Secchi at her beautiful restaurant. And tonight we're gonna have a lot of fun making handmade Sardinian ravioli called Culo Jones. So we have been shut down, our restaurants have been shut down for one year. Uh, here too, and they've been shut down after 6 p.m. So we're cooking behind closed doors, but we're not gonna stop. And we wanted to thank Chef's Feed for creating this platform for us so we can keep creating and sharing knowledge and meeting people. As you can see in the, the chat already, the people from Hawaii, Connecticut, Seattle, Boston, it's fantastic. Um, and it makes the world a lot smaller. And I think, this kind of thing helps, you know, us get through days if they're tough. So anyway, tonight here, Laura Secchi, Vita Nova, and we're also, we have a special guest um, in Seattle who's uh, going to join us because we decided to do a cooking show every Thursday and um, they're going to be free. And uh, we would like to have always an American chef with us. So we actually have um, with us tonight um, Debbie Brownstein, Deb, from Seattle, uh, Manja Bene Catering. And so uh, Debbie will be joining us to, uh, to cook with us. So uh, quickly, uh, Vita Nova was uh, born two and a half years ago. It's in the center of Cagliari, and uh, Laura is from Oristano, uh, a, 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 a kind of central west, very famous part of Sardinia for a lot of grain production and uh, Botarga is uh, from Cabras, which is very close uh, to, uh, um, to Oristano. Cos'è successo, Simon? Non vedo niente. Okay. Okay, so listen, let's, um, uh, tonight, Culor Jones. Can you say that? Culor Jones. Uh, this is the traditional Sardinian pasta ravioli. Um, and the Colonel Jonas is usually made with the, the traditional way of making it in Oliastra, which is kind of east side of Sardinia. It's made with uh, potatoes yeah. and mint and pecorino and, and sometimes uh, saffron. Um, tonight, since Laura is from Oristano, and there's a lot of artichokes yeah. in Oristano, and of course there's Botarga. Uh, tonight, we're going to make the culugiones with artichokes and botarga. And so, first, I think the idea of the show is really to show you step by step how to do this. And so, you can then do it at home. And at the end of the show, I'm going to show you, I'm going to offer you a box of all the ingredients to buy. Okay. So uh, we have Debbie. Uh, let's let's have De oh hello Seattle. I'm from hi, Seattle. Hi Debbie, Manja Benny Catering, my sister. <laughs> I love you. Your so, mom's in the house too. Huh? Your mother's in the house too. Ooh, wow, that's exciting. So Debbie, I was saying that um, obviously we've been shut down. Uh, we've been shut down in in, in Europe. We've been shut down in America. You're a chef. What have you been doing uh, with your with your time? Um, well, I've been um, last March. I started volunteering with a homeless youth shelter, uh, making meals for them and organizing their kitchen. And it's, it's kind of turned into a job for me for the past year. So I'm just wrapping that up. My business is just starting to pick up a little bit. So um, it's been a, an un unusual year for me. Interesting. Um, you just get to see a different part of the world. Not not the um, kind of a difficult part, but it's been a good, it's been an unusual, but uh, informative year for me. Hey, but you're doing mitzvahs. Very different so from my You're doing mitzvahs, so that's good. I'm doing mitzvahs. Good. Um, we see your kitchen, That that's your that's your catering business there? My catering business, it's also, um, I teach cooking classes here, so um, most of my business is catering. Um, Debbie, uh, we're going to make these handmade sardine raviolis today, 
and we're going to ask you to cook along with us and then maybe stop us if, if, you, if you think that we're moving too fast and you think that people might need another explanation. Yep. Okay? I'm on it. Yep. Okay. So now, Laura, uh, I think what we should do now is we should present to everybody the ingredients of the dish. Yes. Hmm? Yeah. So first of all, we have to make the duck uh, with semolina, um, ground semolina, okay. and water. Uh, the, the, the duck uh, in Sardinia is very is without egg. The dough. Usually, the dough. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <It's, laughs> you correct me, please, yes, because yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's, it's about uh, twenty-seven years uh, since I don't speak English. So, uh, so yes. You're doing great. Okay. It's better than uh, you speaking Italian and me having to translate. Uh, so, so um, we have a thing about. Um, I like to explain to people about yeah. Sardinian culture compared to other European yeah. cuisines or even Sicily. People think that maybe Sicily and Sardinia are similar, yeah. but Really, like you said, we in Sardinia often start with extremely simple water and yeah. semolina, yes. not even egg. No. You know, it's, it's simple, yes. simple, simple. Yes, very simple. Okay. So for the filling, we need the artichokes. Okay. This is uh, Sardinian artichokes uh, that have uh, the um, I don't, uh, sting. The I prickly. Don't know, the, uh, yeah. this, this one. <laughs> okay. Very um, prickly. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, pecorino cheese, grated. Okay, so okay. like an aged pecorino? Yeah. Okay, like maybe a year, uh? 12 months, something like that? Uh, yes, okay. okay. We don't want it too but strong, but... No, uh. I, I don't like, for example, I don't like Fiore Sardo, yeah. that is very strong yeah. and... Okay, it's too it is strong smoked, for this dish. a little bit smoked, yes. so I don't know. Yeah. Uh, egg yolk. Okay. Okay, a little bit. Salt, okay. Uh, and it's okay. Um, so we show the, how yeah, to organize. So, so these are the yeah. ingredients. Yes. Um, I think right now what we could do is how. Yes. How do you? I, I think right now we could start making the pasta dough. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for uh, um, we have a little amount uh, here, yes. but uh, uh, if you have um, 500, uh, okay, uh, 500 uh, grams, yes. um, you need about uh, 200 milliliters of water, about, okay. uh, but um, it depends on the semolina, so you have to try uh, okay. and put the, the water slowly, okay? Okay. So... I don't put salt in the in the dough. No salt. Okay. No, no salt. Because we have botarga because it's salt. Yes, and the but, cheese is but salty. no, no. My, uh, the salt is in the water when you boil the, yes. the ravioli. Okay. I love it. So. So you said five hundred grams of of flour, flour. two hundred uh, milligrams About, of water. About yeah. But. Then it depends on the humidity, it depends yes, on the flour. Yes. So then you just you, you know by the texture. Yes. Uh, okay. The texture has to be mm, uh, not too soft. Okay. Because uh, we have to close the ravioli, and if the duff is soft, it's very very difficult. It'll so, rip. Yeah. No. So, so it needs to be elast elastic, but yes. uh, yeah. Okay, so uh -huh. we continue, we keep on work the duck by end. Uh, if you want, you can uh, work the duck uh, even in a um, planetary, I don't know the name yeah, in English. Yeah, like, like a blender. Um, like yeah, a, uh, okay. A, 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 mm. Okay, with, yeah, a, so the with the hook, uh, with the right. hook, okay? Right. Okay. We or have you can, to work you can like, it like this. You are, yeah. yeah. So you're just kneading the dough with the palm of your hand. Yes. And it, it definitely, I mean, you didn't put a lot of water in there. No, no. Ah. But this is a, a little amount of semolina, so. Okay. So, 
So uh, we have to, um, uh, to work the, the dog uh, for uh, about five minutes by hand. Okay. okay? And okay. then we mm -hmm. have to uh, rest, to m make it rest, okay? okay. Because uh, the dog is elastic, dog. so... Dog. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and the dog is elastic, so... Um, okay. We okay. So, while Laura's finishing the pass and then she's going to th let that rest... So the final, okay, Yeah. is, is like this. Okay. This is rested for at least 20 minutes. Yes. Okay, so. That's beautiful. Yeah. And it will become mm, softer. Mellow. It's okay. like Play-Doh. <laughs> like this. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so the Sardinian artichoke, uh, as we were saying, it's very prickly. Um, it's full of iron. And it's actually a DOP. Um, oh, yeah. This is, we're kind of late in the season. Uh, you can get them when they're really, late. it's like Jack and the Beanstalk. And you really, the stem, uh, you eat the whole thing. So, um, Simone and I, uh, our video maker, we went to the, the market today. And I think I'd like to show you and present to you our supplier of these artichokes. Okay, here we are at the market of San Benedetto. It's the most beautiful fish and fresh vegetable market in Europe, I think. And today we're here to buy our artichokes for our color Jonas. So we're here with Matteo. Buongiorno Matteo. So first, grazie. First of all, a couple of questions about these artichokes. Un paio di domande su questi carciofi. Ci puoi dire per te le, i sapori di questi carciofi sardi? Allora, questa è un'azienda di Samazzai, produzione proprio a Fratelli Pizzus. Noi produciamo in maggioranza carciofo e spediamo anche fuori. Allora, questo carciofo ha di particolarità che rimane molto più dolce rispetto al, al violetto color liscio senza spine. Molto più saporito e molto ricercato per quello. Ok, so this is a, a family run business in a town called Samazzai where they produce and export their artichokes and compared to other artichokes these are sweeter, sono più dolci ci sono altre caratteristiche di sapore che... In, uh, a prevalenza a prevalenza è il dolce in questo carciofo quindi rispecchia molto rispetto all'altro per, per questo motivo però altre prevalenze è molto più tenero eh, perché questo è un carciofo di prima come vedete Logicamente siamo a fine stagione, anche eh, durante le gelate ha spellato un po' di questi, queste ultime settimane, però come vedete si pulisce dal gambo, si toglie l'ultima parte un po' più duretta. Okay. Before you clean, prima di pulirlo, un'altra domanda. Il tuo modo preferito per mangiare, your favorite way to eat the artichoke? Questo carciofo io vado pazzo, ho mangiato la morte sua, è olio e sale. Ok, so, Sardinia? The producer, his favorite way to eat the artichoke is oil and salt. And this is a theme we keep going over. The, 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 the raw material, it's so good, you don't do anything to it. La materia prima è così buona che non devi fare niente. È uno spreco cucinarlo questo. Poi si può fare in mille modi. Si può fare una lasagna, una lasagna in bianco, una bella frittata con le uova. Si può fare in qualsiasi altro modo, però io lo preferisco olio e sale questo. So this is really interesting. Uh, Matteo says it's a waste to cook this artichoke. You can make lasagna with it in a white sauce. You can do a million things with it. But the, it's amazing how Sardinians really love to just eat their, the raw material as it is. Okay, let's see how you clean it. Vediamo come si pulisce. I see that there's a... There's a cioè, cioè, si può mangiare tutta questa parte. Eh? Esatto, perché abbiamo tolto, come vedete, un po' più corto perché ho tolto la parte un po' più dura. Quindi okay. si, si pulisce il gambo, so afferrandolo heart. in testa perché se tocchi troppo il gambo rischia di diventare un po' amarogno il carciofo. Ok, so you Quindi try not to, la testa. you hold it to the head because otherwise it's going to get bitter. Si pulisce the, così. So you clean the stem and you can see is the, the heart, the core of the stem you can eat. Ok. Questo. 
il gambo pulito. Questo si mangia tutto crudo. Esatto. E poi la testa normalmente si pulisce come ogni tipo di carciofo. Si tolgono le parti più esterne, un po' più durette, fino ad arrivare un po' al, al chiaro del carciofo che è un po' più tenero. Lo vedete come si, un po si schiarisce. E poi da parte un po' più duretta qua si toglie. E si toglie l'ultima parte delle foglie, questa. Dove c'è la spina. E questo è tenerissimo, non ha barba. È tutto utilizzabile. In mille modi. Ok? No waste. Use all of that. And that's the Sardinian artichoke. È molto ferroso, vero? Esatto, contiene molto ferro. Il carciofo è, è una buona cura per tanti, tanti che hanno carenza di, di questo. So one of the particularities of the Sardinian artichoke is it's extremely rich in iron and that makes it also difficult to match with wine and to match with other ingredients. That's why you need strong ingredients like botarga, like ricotta salata, uh, like pecorino. Cioè, stavo dicendo che il carciofo, sì. essendo così ferroso, anche se è dolce... Si può abbinare in tantissime, con tantissimi formaggi. Si può abbinare, certo. però è anche complicato, per, per un vino per esempio, essendo eh, così sì. ferroso, sì, sì, sì. cioè è un po' come lo bottaga, è un ingrediente un po' complicato sì, abbinare. Esatto. Sì, sì, certo. Eh, ma in, in generale lo abbinano, per esempio, anche con i culurgioni. Si può fare il ripieno di, di carciofo con una fonduta di formaggio sopra, per so, esempio. So, uh, Matteo ha detto che una cosa meravigliosa di fare con l'artichoke è di fare con i culurgioni e di fare con un po' di cheese. E Matteo, oggi, we're actually going to make culurgioni con carciofa e casagedu. Ok, ah, buonissimo, <laughs> casagedu, buonissimo, buon, buonissima ricetta. Okay, that's Matteo. So, uh, I was lucky to grow up in a household where um, my mother first taught us how to eat French food with Julia Childs and then Marcella Hazan. And getting older, I realized that the genius of Marcella Hazan and Julia Childs was to teach Americans how to, with the ingredients that they have in America, recreate the tastes of Europe. And so, um, Debbie, are you there? Yeah, ah, I'm okay. here. So you're going to be our Marcella Hazan today. And um, I know you can't okay. have... Oh, sorry, I'm <laughs> going this way and that way. I am a little younger than she is. Yes. But anyway, um, obviously you can't go to the market of San Benedetto, even though you've been there. No. But you've been there. Yes. Yes. Um, so... How, how are you doing? How are you doing with your recipe? And what do you do in terms of not having these artichokes? Well, um, I did a little bit differently. I started out with Sardinian artichokes, but they come back. Oh, I recognize those. Yeah, they're yours. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, and I just, I, so, I mean, you can get fresh artichokes here, but it's a little bit easier um, when you use already already prepped. Okay, and, and how are you doing with um, your pasta dough? My pasta dough is, is beautiful. I changed it a little bit. We don't have the same flour here in America. You can get semolina, which is the hard durum wheat flour. Um, high gluten, high protein. Sometimes I mix my semolina with a little bit of um, high gluten flour. Okay. And it, it kind of, it's, it's almost the same as your dough, but it's kind of an imitation. Yeah. Um, in, in Italy, the semolina that Laura uses, in Italian it's called semolina rimacinata. So it's very fine. Okay. Do you, do you know the, yes. the, like, finely ground? That's why I mix ours with flour, because our semolina is um, coarser. Right. They don't, yeah. have, they don't have the rimacinata. Make us yeah, with I know, I know. You can mix it with a, a flour. That's okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so um, can we see your dough? Yes. Woo! Che bello! <laughs> bella, bella. I, I put a little stock on mine. 
You put what? Um, for the color. Okay. Because I mixed it with flour, um, so it's a little paler. So I just put a teeny bit of saffron in it. Saffron. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Bello. Yeah. Very be bello. 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 You came on a you came on a Trigo chef tour. I can see. <laughs> <laughs> so, the artichoke in Sardinia, it's extremely um, ferroso. There's a lot of iron, and it's very bitter. The outside is very bitter. So you actually should like wear gloves or like be careful of how you. So I want Laura now to teach us again. Even though you saw Matteo clean the artichoke, we're going to show you again because cleaning the artichoke properly and cutting it properly without wasting it is important. So Laura, can you show us? Yeah. Please. Okay, first of all, it's better if you wear some gloves because when you prepare artichokes, your hands will become black. <laughs> so it's better. First of all, um, uh, we can cut off, uh, cut off the stock, the stock okay. if you want, or you can uh, leave a, a 10 centimeter. Uh, uh -huh. It depends. Okay, now we cut off the stock okay. and peel it okay. like this. Because this is very duro, no? uh, and then uh, we put the stock in sparkling water. Ah, yeah, I don't know. That. Or in water with lemon. Okay, this is important in order to uh, don't make it don't it doesn't uh, <laughs> become black. Okay, or oh, scuro, scuro. Hmm? Okay. okay. Yeah, you, yeah. Don't want to, you no, can explain better you don't than want me. The oxygen, okay. You don't want the oxygen to touch it. Yeah. Then we have to cut off uh, the leaves. Like this. If you want, there is another method. Yes. That is that one. Yes. You cut off 10 or 15 leaves yes. and then right around the circumference. Yeah. Okay. 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 This is the result. And I can eat all of this? Eh? Can I eat all yes. everything? Yes, we can eat all of them. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Oh, okay. Then we cut in half. Okay. 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 And we... Like an incision yes. right there to get the... Yes. To those thistles, okay. whatever you call them. What do you call those, Debbie? And this one is... Beauty. In yes, in is Debbie there? In the water. I'm here. Okay. I just want to know what you call the the very center of the artichoke. Are those thistles? Like the, the choke. The, like they're like like they're that part right there. What do you call that? The choke. The because choke. there's you like choke on it. yes, there's like a barba. I don't know. Um, yeah. Pelly. Yeah. So it's okay. Like hair. Yeah. It, it's actually in English. It's called choke. Ah. Which is interesting because this is artichoke, but also you choke. <coughs> ah. So maybe because you eat it, you choke. <laughs> okay. So, and, um, echo, echo. Okay, beautiful. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now in the recipe, yeah. we have six artichokes. Yes. Of, of which, we're going to use one artichoke or enough artichoke to cut it very thinly because we're going to fry it yeah and then the rest of the artichoke we're going to we're going to saute all the artichoke to soften it yes right? yes okay. it's a saute okay okay so yeah. how are you going to cut it now yes like this super thin si super thin wow okay yeah like the like the diameter like the width of a of a penny 
Yeah. Even less. If you're using the, the bag, you don't have to cook milk. Say again? If you're using your, your bag, you don't have to cook milk. Okay. That bag, For the filling. By, that bag, by the way, those are 10 artichokes. Not the whole bag. No. Uh, I like your hat, Debbie. Grazie. It's very Seattle. It Mine is very is like, Seattle. This is like Sardinian Shepherd. Yes. We're, we're representing our native, our native home. Yes. So we are ready to cook the artichokes. Oh, Marco on the chat. He just gave the site for this, the, the artichoke, the DOP in English. Thank you, Marco. That's fantastic because it's really interesting to read about the, the Sardinian artichoke for sure. And it's, it's properties. It's full of iron. It's full of antioxidants. Okay. Okay. Now we can cook the artichokes. Okay. We have only one, but I okay. pre already prepared it. Okay. So in a casserole, okay. um, oli olive oil. Okay, extra virgin olive oil? Yeah. Okay. This is from Pauli Latino near to Aristano. Okay. Um, a garlic glove. Okay. Um, I like, like this in camicia. Okay. It's better. If you want, you can just. You, you like it in the use? Yes. You, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. So that's garlic in camicia. In its shirt. <laughs> yes. In Italian. I put the artichoke all together. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then. Some water. Okay. Okay. Covered. Maybe. <laughs> Ah, no, eccoci qua. Ok? Ok. For 3 minutes? 3. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you cut them yes. very thin. Yes. So high heat? Yes. Um, fuoco alto? No. 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 Low. Simmer. Low. Low heat. Yeah. Simmer. Simmer. Ok. So. And you just let it kind of yeah. soffocare almost, right? Yes. Stufare. Si stufare. Dice. Stufare. Ok. Beautiful. And? Beautiful. Okay. They come like this. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Debbie, are you are you cooking along still? Yes. Okay. Did you see what she did with the water? She covers it. Low I heat. Did. Okay. So now she's, she's basically she's doing it with a little bit of water and oil. No salt. No. Yeah. Yeah. Little but, salt. Yes. Okay. Okay. These culurjones, in many parts of Sardinia, the culurjones, we use a fresh cheese, which is called casujeru, okay? In certain parts of Sardinia, we use casujeru without the water, and we use it like in our ravioli for dessert, our seadas, and it melts really nicely. But for this dish, we actually are using Casujeru from a dear friend. And again, I want to show you in Europe, in Sardinia, when you have the ingredients, how easy it is. So today, Simone and I, we went and we visited a dear friend of mine, Michele Cuscusa, who's a shepherd, who has a wonderful uh, organic farm in uh, the center of Sardinia. And we started about a month ago bringing his milk every day to a supermarket in Cagliari because people can't travel for COVID. So we brought the milk to the supermarket and we're building, ah, here's the Casa Yeah. No. Yeah. Ah, okay. So this is the Casa and we're gonna show you exactly what we're doing at the supermarket in Sardinia where we bought this today. So I can see how fresh the ingredients are. 
Okay, here we are on our search for the most important ingredients of our culurjones. So we're actually in an Italian supermarket in Selarjus, it's Konad. And in this supermarket, we have a special thing going on. We have something called pecoreria. And my friend, Michele Cuscusa, who was a farm in the middle of Sardinia, is actually bringing his organic milk to the supermarket and we're making fresh cheeses on the spot. So here we're come, we've come to buy a cheese called Casa Geru. Let's go see if Michele has some. Michele, buonasera. Bene, bene. Ehm, dobbiamo fare dei collugiones e eh, volevamo un formaggio per finirli. Cosa? No, sto adesso facendo casa geru. Ah, you're making casa geru. That's perfect. So, voglio spiegare in, 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 per gli, gli, gli spettatori. Casa geru means uh, cheese, sour cheese. Okay. So you're taking some serum from a previous batch and you're mixing it. Is this warm, the milk? E caldo, okay. E, e cos'era questo? Oh, some rennet. Mix it up. So now the, the magic of the milk is going to happen. So from the liquid, we're going to make it solid. E casa geru is one of the many fresh cheeses we make in Sardinia. It's made very similar to yogurt. Giusto, Michele, che sì, si fa, si fa come lo yogurt. Sì, è eh? lo yogurt del pastore, casa geru. Ah, Quello che prima non si poteva fare yogurt era casa geru o yodu. He says, Michele says, this is the yogurt of the shepherd. So this is what you made at home. You leave it six hours uh, at a, a warm temperature. And then it, it will, it will you, you get the curd. And then you can have it fresh and it's sweet. Or if you wait one day, it's bitter, it's sour. Michele, che cos'è il tuo modo preferito per fare casa geru? Ma culugione si possono fare con casa geru. Ah, so you too, your favorite way with, uh, with no, casa geru is, is to make culugiones. So everybody, this is incredible. This is, this is something that we unfortunately can't replicate in America. We have a shepherd bringing his organic milk to the supermarket. He's milking in the morning, bringing it here, using this magic machine to transform the milk. And then we can come here and buy these fresh products. Yeah, we have panna cotta, we have yogurt, we have mozzarella made from sheep's milk, we have stracchino, um, all sorts of different flavors of yogurt. We have a cheese called Primo Sale, first salt. So the, the customers at this supermarket have a really special service. Okay, Michele, I, I have a question for you. I've seen in Sardinia Casa Gedu, which is hard, duro, okay. and Casa Gedu, which is soft with a little serum. Poi morbido col siero. Sono tutte due Casa Gedu, they're both Casa Gedu, and which one should I use for colorjones? Guarda, dal liquido è passato al solido, guarda, è già qua. Oh, so it's already, after three minutes, it's already coagulating. Okay? Okay, quindi già così. Quello l'ideale sarebbe questo ad esempio quasi qua. Yeah, two, two minutes, two, three minutes and it's almost... Minuti, siamo yes. quasi pronti. Ok. Questa è l'idea del pronto. This is ready for use. Questo è pronto per fare, questo è quello che preferisco. Ok. So, for Culo Jonas, we don't want the harder version. The harder version of Casagedu, you could use for our seadas, our, our fried ravioli, which we put honey on top. But tonight we want this softer Casagedu. Grazie Michele. Ok, grazie a te John. Ayo. Ok, um, that's my friend Michele. Uh, we do chef tours here in Sardinia. The first two nights we stay with Michele and he teaches us how to make fresh cheese and organic wine. Amazing person. And if you're a, a, a dairy owner and you're interested in actually doing something like what Michele and I are doing, uh, uh, please contact us. 
uh, because we'd love to do it in other countries of the world as well. So now, Laura, we've uh, sauteed the artichokes, we have the pecorino, we have the casagedu, we have the botarga. Yeah. Oh, I see. This <laughs> trigo. trigo. Trigo botarga. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Um, so what do we do now? <laughs> so now we we can prepare the filling. Okay. Out of ravioli. Okay. So we have the cooked artichokes. Okay. We have to blend. Okay. So yes. Uh, in a mixer, in a blend, it depends. Uh, like you prefer. Okay. So. Cooked. So he here, I'm sorry. It's just. Yeah. Olive oil, artichoke, and salt. Yes. End the story. Yes. No parsley, no nothing. No, no. If you the want, you can. Um, I like, uh, for example, the wild fennel. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. beautiful. It's, it's very, very good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wild fennel. Yeah. Finocchio selvatico. Yes. Teach you some Italian here. I'm going to write in the chat. Finocchio oh. selvatico. Oh. Then you can add the egg yolk, just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Because it's a filling, so we want yes, it to. Yes, yes. And pecorino. Okay. Okay, this is a pecorino from Donori, that okay. is uh, uh, near Cagliari. From my friend Hayes. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, and uh, it's uh, 18 months. Oh, wow. Aged. So, not too much, yes. because I like. That artichoke is the the, um, the first uh, flavor. You're, you're you're enhancing the flavor, yeah. But you don't want to overpower it. Yeah, yeah. And with a pecorino, which is 18 yes. months, it's salty. Yes. I mean, it, you have to be careful. Um, now, simply, yes, you have to blend. Okay. okay? And uh, you will have. A feeling like this. Okay, beautiful. Creamy, okay? Yeah. Creamy, yeah. soft. Yeah. Not too. Really? Well, yeah. that's sticky, yeah. Okay. That's the egg. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Va bene. Um, we have to um, uh, um, it has, uh, has to be. Um, Come si dice? Room Freddo. Fre yes, ah, cold. room temperature. Cold, cold. Okay. okay, not hot. Okay. Okay? To make it ravioli. Okay. So. Cool. But better if you put it in the fridge. Yes. So. Um, bag is green. Okay, again. For pastry bag is green, the filling is there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we put it in a piping bag, yeah. okay, like this. It's better to, but you can use if you want two spoons, two yeah. teaspoons. Okay. There's no problem, okay. Then uh, we roll the dog, okay, okay, and we need a, a ring, a ring about um, eight centimeters. Okay. I, I don't know in. Yeah, let's, let's, is that three inches, Debbie, or four okay. inches, you think? Okay. About three and, and a half inches. Okay. Okay. And we have to make some circles like this. Fun. So, by the way, we're, we're um, on the add-ons for Chef's Feed in, in this uh, show. One add-on is a video lesson a Zoom lesson with Laura to make pasta. So a minimum of three people. And then of course, you would go through the entire pasta making process where you'd be kneading the dough, rolling it out, and uh, you know, really learning how to do the whole complete process. Oh, mama. Okay. okay, you can reuse this dough, okay? okay. Waste not, one not. Yeah, you can put uh, or and roll again. Okay. Okay. Sure. So. <clears throat> so we have our, our circles now. Yeah. We have our filling. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put a little flour. A there. little bit flour, but very very. Not too much. Not too much. Okay. 
Okay. In the center, the filling. Okay. Ready. And then we can start closing the ravioli. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So a little more. Okay, so here is the fun part. Okay. So this is the difficult part, but I, I, I put off my gloves. So. Okay. <laughs> so, first of all, we have to take pinch. a pinch, okay? Yeah. And then some pinches. You pinch it and move it towards the filling. See, okay, so uh, yes. You tilt it. Yeah, this is pinch important. In the, in the, okay? Yeah. To move in, in inward. Yes. Pinch and tilt. You almost push it in towards the ravioli. Yes. There's no problem if the feeling. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So pretty. It's really pretty. Okay. Let's see another one. Just another one. Hey, Deb, we're going to come to you and you're going to do one after this I'm one. Ready. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, watch carefully. No, no. This is more beautiful. <laughs> well, it's artisan, you know, it's, it's, it's perfect in its imperfection, <laughs> right? Yeah, handmade. Handmade, we love it. It's gonna be delicious. So they're asking us how thick the pasta dough should be. Yes, uh, Alors, if, you, if you have the pasta machine, if you have the pasta machine, yes. you have to start, stop at the um, terzultima the, 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 the third to last. Yeah. If you're using a pasta if machine. If you use a pasta machine. If you use, use the dog, the, the, the roll, yeah. uh, pasta is not too thin. No. It's, it's not, not too, too thin. thin. No, 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 it's not too thin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it's two millimeters, I, I don't know, two, three millimeters. That's so the... Oh, see. It's not too thin. It's not too it's thin. It's not like tortellini right. or uh, no pasta, egg, egg pasta. Right. That is very thin. It has to be transparent. No. This pasta... These are rough. Is, yeah. <laughs> this is a shepherd's ravioli. Yes. <laughs> Debbie, do you understand if I say to you the third to last, if you're using a pasta machine, the third to last position. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I would. All the pasta machines are a little different in their thickness, so I would say about one sixteenth of an inch. Okay. Okay. Okay, Debbie. So I think we're ready for you now. Are you ready? Here's the test. Wait, I can't see your hands. Hold on one sec. Yeah, there I can see your hands. Okay. Pinch. You're pushing it down towards the door. Raise the your side. hand a little bit. Yeah, there you go. I can't see if I raise it. Wow, you're looking pretty good there. Boy, those those Trigu chef tours really work. <laughs> Okay. Brava, bravissima. Grazie. Vai, mangia bene catering. <laughs> okay. So, oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make some more because we're gonna eat, so we're gonna make a bunch now. <laughs> Debbie, what what um in terms of if somebody really wants to do this, and so they um order the box and they're ready to make it. What are the tricky things? I mean... The, have... the tricky things are getting the dough right. Okay. Um, 
the filling is is easy, pretty easy. You taste it, and it tastes good, and then you're ready to go. I think it's just practicing the pleating. You know, each one I do, they get a little bit better. It's important to let your dough rest after you make it because semolina has high gluten and the gluten has to relax. It's really hard to roll out if you don't let it rest. Ha capito? No, Dice so che so. una le ho chiesto le cose sì. più importanti se sì. una persona vuole replicare questa cosa e dice una delle cose siccome la semolina è molto alto in glutine sì. lo devi far riposare perché sì, sì. è troppo se no non, ci, non riesci a lavorarlo sì sì, sì è vero ce la fai. sì sì ok that's good advice yes. thank you Seattle you can't hear, you. You can't hear us can't hear no? you oh I lost my sound to you testing testing can't hear us oh can anybody else hear us? Name of Laura's restaurant. Vita Nova. Uh, Mario. Mario, Mario, beats, Mario, <laughs> Mario beats me, of course. Can everybody else hear me or is it just Debbie who can't hear me? Huh? We're back? Sorry, we had a little <laughs> technical glitch there. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, so. so. We can start with the recipe? Yes. Okay. So we have to cook ravioli in ravioli. water with salt. Okay. And how long are we going to cook them for? They have to uh, rise. rise. Yeah. Float, yeah. Yeah, so when they flow. When they flow, they are ready. Okay. okay. So I'll take the, these. So it's very, very easy. Okay. Goes, uh. I'll take these two minutes to, to the, uh, explain to you a little bit about what we're doing here. The idea really is to um, uh, educate and share uh, Sardinian uh, culinary traditions and to teach you how to make dishes. So that's the idea. I'd love, we would love feedback. Uh, we're putting a lot of. Oh, great, Debbie. We're putting a lot of energy into this. Um, we're actually filming at least one day before. So we're doing two days of video production. And we decided to make these classes free uh, because we want as many people to be able to enjoy this as possible. We are all small family-run businesses. Uh, Laura, of course, has a restaurant here which has been empty for a while. She's open for lunch. But surely, if you want to uh, help out with Laura and you're interested in learning how to cook. Laura has these um, Zoom lessons which I've put up on the site and which you can order through uh, my company Trigu. It's uh, $50 per person, minimum of three people. And um, then you can eventually come and cook here with Laura. Yes. Uh, for Simone and I, the video production, we have a, a video tip. It's $25, but you can, you can contribute anything. It's public broadcasting model, so you can contribute a dollar. Um, you know, but we are, we want to keep this for free and hopefully we'll get enough viewers who support us and appreciate the content where it, it, we're at least, you know, covering the production costs. And then we have every week we will put together the box. The box is the recipe, okay? So we'll deliver to your house. If you're in Seattle, San Francisco, or Boston, and you're willing to pick up Boston's West Roxbury, Seattle's Capitol Hill, or Maple Leaf, and, and San Francisco's Presidio, if you're willing to pick up, you save money because there's, there's a big expense in sending one box to a house. Or if you have friends and there are five of you, then it's cheaper to send. So what are you getting in the box? It's so important. It's so important to cook, make your pasta water salty. This is Sardinian uh, sea salt, rock salt. So I'm giving you a lot of sea salt to make seawater for your pasta. Importante, giusto? Important, very important. Uh, this is Kuru Jonas with carciofi. So organic carciofi, artichokes, these are 10. 
It's a beautiful, beautiful bag. They're crunchy. They're delicious. Debbie, aren't these delicious for bagged artichokes? Yes, John. Okay. Got your semolina rimacinata. This is the semolina that Laura suggested for me to get. Yes, it's very good. Very good then uh, the, the bottle of water is bigger. We're going to give you the number one water in the world voted. This is Sardinian. Okay, so you're going to get Sardinian mineral water, organic, low, very low acidic, almost the lowest acidity you can get in an olive oil. This is from Santadi. Villa Peruccio, okay? Boni Mores. Then, we love Botarga, and so I, you're gonna fall in love with it, so I'm giving you a big piece, and then the grated Botarga too. Um, because you can, when you fall in love with the Botarga, you'll start slicing it, or just like eating it like a carrot. So, lots of Botarga. And then, a very nice piece of Pecorino because we're gonna finish off. This is for the filling and for finishing off. If you want, 12 months. Um, I travel the island looking for the best pecorinos on the island, so trust me, it'll blow you away. Uh, we also are not going to be able to send you casujeru. Did I say that right, casujeru? Come si dice in sardo? Non lo dico male, lo dico bene. Benissimo. Ah, ecco, okay. So, but we can send you ricotta salata, and you actually can substitute the ricotta salata with the casujero. Be careful, but I'm a huge fan of ricotta salata. This is uh, one of the best things in the world, and we're gonna do a lot of shows on ricotta salata. And then, if you like it hot, it's not in this recipe, but we do have some wonderful sardine hot pepper. And you know, I can't leave you without a dessert. So, this Sardinian nugget, okay? So this box, it's uh, sent to your home, it's $200. If we're sending it where you're picking up, it's $180. So those are the three add-ons. How are you doing on the... Um... They're ready. Oh, they're ready, they're okay. Yeah. Allora. Debbie, how are you doing? Good, I'm just making a, a, a batch for my oh. mother to eat. Who, who's there? Mama. Hi, John. Ma Ciao, Mom! <laughs> Ciao, John. Ah, I love you. I miss you. Ciao! We miss you all the time. What a surprise. <laughs> que bello. Wow, fantastico. My mother. <laughs> it's, like, it's like those TV shows where, where it's like, you know, they bring out the person. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> so, friends, this is ooh, beautiful, beautiful. <coughs> friends, this is a very tough job. It's very hard work, but somebody has to do it. There has to be a taster, right? Justo. It's a tough job. It's a 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 job. Eh beh, scusa, se no... So, so uh, I'm sorry, we have a question here from Susan. Uh, yeah? She says, can you use our semolina, che è un po' non è rimacinata, e macinarlo? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Rimacinata... Uh, is uh, um, appunto macinata due volte, it's, capito? It's, it's ground twice. Yes, so yes. Susan, yeah. I, th I think you could, f I think you could do that. Yeah. And you just want it finer. Yes. Gabby, do you have any suggestions about how to take your semolina and make it a little finer? Yeah. Okay. Wow. So. Oh, mamma mia. I'm glad I had a late lunch today. They're so beautiful. When, when, when cuisine, you know, with, with, the, with the, the way, it's so painstaking. If you imagine cooking this for a family of 10 people and how much time it would take. But so many times with Sardinians, you know, like with Pane Carazao and with, you know, you get this 
many women around the table yeah. making making the pasta and making panic yes. carazao and it's look it's, i make Ooh. that one look lorigitas here. look here lorigitas <laughs> debbie do you remember the lorigitas that's yes. beautiful Delicious. um <clears throat> oh yeah we, will you do will you do another live with us yeah, can I we can. can we make these? Yes, with the traditional and maloredos too. Yeah, I, I, with yeah. the traditional sauce with the polo yes. ruspante. Yeah, que bueno. Galletto ruspante, yes. Okay. Yes, we can do that. Do you want me to taste? Huh? Do you want me to taste? What you want? Vuoi che te lo assaggio per ti per dirti com'è? Certo. Okay. It's yes. <laughs> so. Yes. Grated botarga. Okay. Not too much. But not too much. <laughs> Casagero. Casagero. So pretty. It looks like almost velvet. <laughs> Sembra quasi velutato, yes. no? Yes. Bravo Michele. <laughs> Mario dice John siete matti. <laughs> Mario, you, Mario, you know we're matti. <laughs> we're ready. Va bene? Yes. One of the ideas is to learn to share culture, to bring, make the world a smaller place. But we just want to have some fun too. We've been closing our house for so long. We also just want to have some fun, right? Yeah. Mamma mia. Cena. Please. Che. <laughs> Look at how beautiful it is. Did you get a, did you get a good picture of this? Hey? Eh? It's uh, the the perfume, the 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 aroma is like I can smell the everything, the 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 botarga, <laughs> the casagero, the carciofo, all in a symphony of of aromas. Vedi? This is fried artichokes, if you oh, want. Yes, They please. are crunchy. Yeah, I, li I like the, yeah, that's a nice idea. They are cut thin, very thin. Yes. And then fried in the oil. Okay, getta. In Sardinia we say getta. Ecco qua. Wow. <laughs> Did you get a good picture of it? Così, <laughs> whoops. Look at that. It's a, a, a work of art. I'm almost sorry to eat it. Mi dispiace mangiare. No, you Però have to eat it. Lo dividiamo, scusa. Prendi, prima che metto la forchetta. Let's, we need three plates. There's three of us here, so we need all to eat it. Giusto? Yes, no, I, ah. I tasted only one. Simon. No problem, no problem. So while we're eating, if you have any questions, I have the questions up on the screen. And um, buon appetito. <laughs> buon appetito. <laughs> buon appetito. Mamma mia. Wow. Oh my God. <gasps> wow. I hope one day Mario Mariani invents a technology where we can send you the taste to the camera. Esatto, si. Sì. Eh? <laughs> Mario, we'll give you a Nobel Peace Prize for that. Do you like it? It tastes good. It is delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Be safe. Thank you. Uh, yes. Debbie, I love you. Ciao, Mama, Debbie. Love ciao. You. Ciao. Ciao. Let me see. Let me see. Lunch. Let me see. Let me see. Can you take a bite? I we'll haven't eat together. Yet. Take a bite. We'll eat together. <laughs> this is the nice thing about. Um, Ah. 
having lunch with, with my sister in Seattle. We cooked the same thing. Is that crazy? Right? <laughs> Appetito. Mangia bene. Mangia bene. <laughs> Buono. 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 Mm, so good. <laughs> See you next week, we're making pane frattao with Massimiliano Giordano. <laughs> <laughs>